So I thought I'd go through a couple more examples of indefinite integrals um, just to, well, solidify our understanding uh, before we go on to definite integrals and look at more complicated examples. Um, so um, let's look at if we had the integral of 1, um, well, let's have 3 over uh, 1 plus x dx, for example. Now, this is one of those that we could do using the log trick, or the log trick that uh, I've done a couple of videos ago. Okay, So um, we could do it that way, but I want to show you how it works with integration by substitution as well. So the problem here is the 1 plus x. So we do u is equal to 1 plus x, okay, that would be the substitution to make. There isn't really much other substitution you could make. You, we need a replacement for dx like we did in the other examples. So du by dx is 1. So then if I multiply both sides by dx, I get du is equal to dx. So it's a nice easy um, swap. So the 1 over x becomes u. The dx can become du. Okay. Now I'm going to pull the 3 outside of the integral sign. And 1 over u du is an integral that you should remember as being log u. So this is 3 log u plus c. Now u was 1 plus x. So this is 3 log 1 plus x plus c. Okay. And that's how it would work. So let's look at another example. Um, let's have the integral of uh, 4x squared plus 3x minus 2 um, and we're going to have 16x uh, plus 6 on the top dx. So here's another integral that you could be asked to do. Um, this is another log trick problem because if you look at the bottom then that's 8x plus 3 which you will notice is two lots, uh, one half of what's on the top of the fraction. So you could just use the log trick. So using integration by substitution u is equal to 4x squared sorry, plus 3x minus 2 so du by dx is 8x plus 3. Okay, multiply both sides by dx. So you notice it's the same process each time. And then divide both sides by the 8x plus 3. Okay, so now what we have is the integral of 16x plus 6 over u and dx is 1 over 8x plus 3 du. Now let's tidy this up because that top of the fraction here, the numerator, is two lots of 8x plus 3. So the 8x plus 3 and the 8x plus 3 here can cancel because it's 1 divided by itself. The 2 can be brought outside of the integral and you just get left with this which is 2 lots of log u plus c and the u was um, 4x squared plus 3x minus 2 and I've got that plus c on the end. Okay, so that's uh, a more complicated looking example. It's using, this is using integration by substitution, and it's really showing you that the log trick, like reversing chain rule, is really, um, you, you're actually doing integration by substitution, but you're not showing all the working steps. Okay? Now let's see another problem that isn't either reversing chain rule or a log trick, um, and it's something slightly different, but it's still an indefinite integral. 
Okay, so this is from an exam paper. And the integral in question looks like this. It's 1 over 1 plus 2 tan x squared cos squared x dx. Okay, and we're told to use u is equal to 1 plus 2 tan x as the uh, substitution. So this is a very different looking integral. Okay, um, this is one where we, we have to use our new way of integrating. And the added bonus and the added complication is that it's got trig involved. Okay, and everybody loves trig. So um, let's see what happens. I'm going to go through exactly the same process. Okay, integration by substitution is a set process. You just turn the handle, okay, which turns the wheel. So du by dx. Now the derivative of tan is sec squared. So that's 2 sec squared x. So multiply both sides by dx. And then divide both sides by sec. 2 sec squared. Okay. Now, sec squared um, is 1 over cos squared. So if you've got 1 over sec squared, then that's just cos squared. So we've actually got 1 half cos squared x du is dx. So let's see what happens. So we've got 1 over. Now this is the u. I've got a cos squared there. And the dx has been replaced with 1 half cos squared du. Now you should notice that you've got a cos squared over cos squared here. So 1 divided by itself. So they disappear. The one half could be brought outside of the integral sign. So that's gone. And the one over u squared that's left can be written as u to the minus 2. So now it's a case of adding 1 to the power, divide by the new power, add the constant c. So we've got minus one half, that minus one can come out to the front, of u to the minus one, so that's one plus two tan x to the minus one plus a constant c. Okay, and that's our final answer. So here's another example using integration by substitution. It's neither reversing chain rule or log trick. Um, it's going through exactly the process that you need to know. And it involved a little bit of trig as well. This type of problem can gain you five marks on an exam paper.